Newly paroled an ex-con and former U.S. Ranger Cameron Poe finds himself trapped in a prisoner transport plane where the passengers seize control. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review, and this one is on the movie Con Ill. This movie came out in 1997, was nominated for two Oscars, also seven more wins, and nine nominations in total. Uh, the director of this uh, movie is Simon West. This movie had a budget of 75 million bucks and in gross worldwide when it was done, being, when it just came out of Cedars, when it was done in Cedars, it got over 224 million, 12,234 bucks, dollars, yeah. So it may, definitely made his quill. Uh, the top actors are in this are Cole Meany, Mikkel T. Williamson, Nick Chinland, Chinland, sorry, John Malkovich, Vin Rams, Dave Chappelle, Rachel Ticotin, Steve Buscemi, Danny Trejo, or Trejo, MC Ganey, Landry Albright, John Cusack, Monica Pardo, and Nicolas Cage. Yep. Oh wait, so... Okay, so first of all, I gotta give Simon West uh, kudos. He did actually a very good job with the direction of the acting, for the most part. A great job, actually. And that's the first thing I'm gonna talk about, is the acting. The cast. Um, for the most part, I have no complaints of the acting. I thought um, all of them, except for one, the, but the rest of them did a great job. There was one person that was just decent. And it was the main actor in this, Nicolas Cage. I do very much enjoy his acting in movies. And uh, this one is my least favorite one from him. Not to say that this movie is bad. This movie is actually a very good movie. Very action-packed, entertaining movie, but Nicolas Cage wasn't that that good. He wasn't. He was just decent. The other actors made up for the lack, though, of, of Nicolas Cage. That's my only complaint about the, the acting, personally. Okay, so now, moving on to the story. What do I think about the story? Uh, to me, personally, it wasn't a great plot. It wasn't. It was a decent plot. A decent plot. But written very, very well. Very well. And this, is what, and this movie actually shows that a decent plot can actually seem much better than that if written properly. Oh, yes. And then the the graphics for its time 19, 1997. I'd have to say yeah no. The action is uh, the the graphics is like top notch for its time top notch. Maybe a little bit maybe a little bit ahead of its time the graphics yeah. And then the action sequence, action sequences, oh my god, they were done perfectly, oh my god. Yes, it's an action movie, Re reason why I need to talk about the, the action. Was the action choreographed uh, great or was it choreographed bad? It was choreographed actually the best, the, 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 uh, to me personally, it was choreographed amazingly well. This is Levi Dak, yeah. And then the soundtrack. <laughs> Not much music for the soundtrack. I was paying attention. But when there was, it was actually very good. And there is a song in this uh, movie. Every time I hear it, I'm like, I'm like, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The song is called How Do I Live? Who was the person that sang it in this movie? Trisha Yearwood. But originally, it wasn't supposed to be her. 
it was supposed to be Leanne Wise. Yes. And if you actually YouTube it or Google it, you'll find out that, yes, Leanne Wimes did, did do a version of this song, uh, How Do I Live? And she was supposed to do it for this movie. And then all of a sudden, the producers, the directors, writers were like, no, we want, they didn't even talk to her about it. They just said, no, we want a more mature person to be doing this song. And they chose Twisted Yearwood. It's like they just crapped on the end once. And it's not white. Not white. They didn't even give her a heads up that they had. T they decided to go with someone else. That was wrong. They should have at least, at least had the decency to tell her that they decided to go into a different direction. That was not white. Reason why when um, at the country award ceremony... That year or the year afterwards? I movie came out exactly what date? It came out in June. Country music awards are normally before June. So yeah, no, it would have been the award ceremony in nineteen ninety eight then. And yet at that, uh, yeah, at that award ceremony, a lot, at that country music award ceremony, everyone was confused because Chrissy Yearwood won the award for that song. But yeah, right before they did that award, Leanne Wimes was singing it. They were like, what's going on? And, she, and they were like, Leanne Wimes didn't sing it for the movie. Chrissy Yearwood did. But yet, no, this is where the confusion was. A lot of people didn't realize it was supposed to be Leanne Wimes. I remember seeing a documentary about about uh, the life of Leanne Wimes and her talking about this and even her father talking about this. He even, he even stated that the producers, they cut her out and they didn't even tell her. It, to me personally, that was not right. Not right at all. But that be, I had to get say that I had to get it off my chest. Um, but yeah, for me personally, to me personally, this is a very good movie. Uh, IMDb with all the users combined gives this movie a six point nine out of ten. I'm pretty much right there with them this time. I am. I give this movie a seven. I repeat, a seven out of ten. It was a very good movie. Would I call it a classic? Yes. Yes. But it's not an amazing movie. It's very good. Due to a fact of two things. There's the decent plot. Written very well though. Decent plot. And then Nicholas's Nicholas's Cage. Sorry. Nicholas Cage's acting. Just decent. That's my part. That that's um that's my only complaints with the movie. So yeah, seven out of ten. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you love this movie and didn't or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comments section down below. And let me know what you think. What? Let me know what you think. What your thoughts are. I always love the comments whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this with video if you like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch, and join me next time for another movie review I tend to do soon. I am out.